Hi, this is Neil Kumar from Import Classes. In this video, I will be discussing the data mining process with a focus on the CRISP-DM model. While there are many other data mining processes, including SAS Institute's SEMA model, which stands for Sample, Explore, Modify, Model, and Assess, <clears throat> I will focus on the CRISP methodology. It is also important to note that this intro is simply an introduction. The different stages of the CRISP model are actually way more detailed in practice. And I encourage you to read additional uh, materials that can shed more insight into these six different stages. The CRISP-DM model is a very popular methodology that provides a structured approach to planning a data mining project. CRISP-DM stands for Cross Industry Process for Data Mining. The six phases of the CRISP data mining process are business understanding, data understanding, data preparation, modeling, evaluation, and deployment. Now what I will do <clears throat> is go into these six different stages into more detail to help you understand exactly what goes on in the stages and what the specific steps are. Taking the first phase, business understanding, the first step in this stage is to understand the problem to be solved. It really is an iterative process of discovery with the data understanding phase, as you can see here. And what you really want to ac accomplish in this stage is to figure out from a business perspective what it is you're trying to do. And creativity often plays a massive role in this business understanding stage. The specific steps in the business understanding stage are number one, determine business objectives. Number two, assess the situation, which means, which is really a detailed fact-finding exercise. Number three, determine data mining goals. And number four, produce the project plan. Now I will shift gears to the second phase, which is the data understanding stage. This second stage requires the data scientist to acquire data actually. And before the data scientist does anything with the data, he or she first needs to understand the strengths and weak limitations of the data because rarely will the data exactly match the problem that he or she is trying to solve. It's also important to recognize that data costs money and that some data may not be available. So the data scientist needs to evaluate the cost and benefits of all the different potential data sources. And what one may find is that the initial solution paths may already start to diverge in this second stage as the data uh, comes up to surface. <clears throat> in this stage, the specific steps are, number one, collect initial data, number two, describe the data, number three, explore the data, and number four, verify the quality of the data. In the third stage of the CRISP model, uh, it is data preparation. And essentially, analytics technologies often require that data be in a form that's different from how the data was initially uh, provided. And so conversion may be necessary. Some common data preparation examples include, number one, converting data to tabular format. Number two, removing or inferring missing values. Number three, converting data to different types. And number four, scaling numerical values so that the uh, the values are on, a, on an apples to apples basis and, that, and so that they're comparable. It is actually this phase, which is the, one of the most time consuming stages of this six stage model. And it's also important to note that whole books are actually written on this very topic. In this stage, the specific steps are number one, select the data, number two, clean the data, number three, construct the data, and number four, integrate the data. In the fourth stage of the CRISP-DM model, uh, we now encounter modeling. And the primary this is the primary stage where the data mining, data mining technologies that we will be covering in these videos are applied to the data with the output, hopefully being some sort of model or pattern. But it's really important to note that not all patterns, patterns are valid, and we'll discuss that more in, uh, in the evaluation stage. But you should also understand that in the modeling stage, this is iterative with the data preparation stage. So as data comes to light, new models are built. And as models are built, you may go back to the preparation stage if you realize that the models just are not very telling. In this stage, 
The specific steps are number one, select the modeling technique. Number two, generate tests for model robustness. Number three, build the model. And number four, assess the model. Now we move to the fifth stage of the CRISP-DM model, the evaluation stage. The purpose of this stage is to assess the data mining results, both from a quantitative and qualitative perspectives, and have a keen attention to, to detail determine if the results are both justifiable and feasible. As I mentioned before, not all patterns are valid because patterns really can be quote unquote found in any data. This we'll, I'll discuss this more in another video. And it's encouraged to do this before the deployment stage because it usually ends up being cheaper and safer than simply skipping the stage and going directly from modeling to deployment. And one of the questions that you wanna ask yourself in this evaluation stage is does the model satisfy the original business goals? And as you can see, this is iterative with business understanding, which means that you may go back to the business understanding stage if you realize in the evaluation stage that what you have is not meaningful. And it's also really important to note that just because the model passes the lab tests doesn't mean that it's going to work in the real life from a practical standpoint. So one must always think about that too in this stage, the evaluation stage. In this stage, the specific steps are number one, evaluate the results. Number two, review the process. Number three, determine the next steps. In the very last stage of the CRISP-DM model, we have the deployment stage. And this is where the results of the data mining are put into real use so that the company can realize ROI from the project. Data science teams pass a working prototype to the development teams so that they can be recoded for, product, for the production environment. And oftentimes in the deployment stage, uh, after this, teams will go back to the business understanding stage to really internalize all of the insight that was drawn from the six stage process. In this stage, the, three, uh, the specific steps are number one, plan the deployment, Number two, plan the monitoring and maintenance. Three, produce the final report of values. And four, review the project. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed this brief introduction into the data mining process while focusing on the CRISP-DM methodology. Please stay tuned for additional data science videos that we will be creating. Many thanks for watching and take care.